GPX glass processors and LFS large fiber splicers use resistive filaments to process fibers. When a new or newly refurbished filament is first installed, it must be cycled between operating and room temperature several times to stabilize its thermal output for consistent heating performance. This process is called burning in a filament. In this video, we will demonstrate how to burn in a new or newly refurbished filament. Under the configuration menu, the filament normalization tool displays several parameters. Filament age is a counter which increases by the duration in seconds for which the filament has been turned on. Before burning in a new or newly refurbished filament, manually reset the filament age to zero seconds. Filament power offset is a constant which is added to the splice power of the splice file. This allows two filaments with different thermal response to run the same file with consistent results. When you install a new filament, you may set this value to a small number, but it will change as a result of the normalization later. Common burn-in splice files are pre-installed on the computer that ships with the unit. They will use a splice power at or near the typical operating power of the filament. The splice on duration will be limited to 15 seconds to avoid overheating of the filament tower. Once the appropriate file is open, press the blue button to execute the burn-in splice process. Note that no fibers are loaded during burn-in. It is normal to see a small puff of smoke when the filament is burned in. It is recommended that the file be executed six times with one minute of cooldown after each. This will age the filament to 90 seconds. During the course of the filament's life, its thermal response to the supplied current will vary, even though the burn-in has been completed. It is therefore critical to regularly normalize the filament, which maintains a consistent power output and heating effect on the fibers.